Hello and thanks for joining us on the weekend edition of National Focus. I'm Jana Hector. Coming up, the Girardel Eggleston Flower Show now has a permanent home. Local government continues its reform efforts and Prime Minister Skerritt wants nationals to do more to stimulate economic growth. Stay with us for details of these and other stories right after the break. The Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development presents Math in Action, making math interesting and fun. Our master teachers will help you improve your problem-solving skills so that you can ace that exam, helping you conquer the most difficult math problems. At any level, we'll make it simple through easy-to-follow tutorials. Join us every week on the Government Information Service for Math in Action, brought to you by the Numeracy Task Task Force of the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development. The facts as they are brought to you every day, every day, every day, every day. only on GIS Channel 7. Welcome back. Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt has sounded a call to nationals to do more to stimulate greater economic activity in the country. The Prime Minister's suggestion came when he addressed a ceremony to formally open the Girardel Flower House on Thursday. There are things that we can do by ourselves and for ourselves to create greater economic activities in our country, bring in more foreign exchange into Dominica, cause the economy to grow much faster and much, much quicker and bigger, and thereby creating the fiscal space required to address issues of poverty and issues of unemployment. The Prime Minister used the example of the Girardel Eggleston Flower Growers Group as a sterling example of a community group working together to make a positive difference. These grassroots groups are playing an important part in this exercise. That's why I'm very happy to see the Minister of Tourism here and his, his staff from the Ministry of Tourism because that in itself must be cited as a national endeavor. We have to support them as a government to ensure they can continue to provide that opportunity for all of us to come and marvel at such beautiful plants while we um, socialize among ourselves. And I know you had in the past, um, through the efforts of the uh, agency for the cruise ship, um, cruise tourist, from tourists coming here and, and bringing the much needed foreign exchange to this um, community. The Prime Minister pledged his government's continued support to the Flower Girls Group of Girardel and Eggleston to ensure the sustainability of the Girardel Eggleston Flower Show. In related news, a 2.6-acre property in Girardel has been confirmed as the permanent site of the Girardel Eggleston Flower Show. The Flower Show is a national festival celebrating the floriculture industry and highlighting the art of floral arrangement. The, the show had been cancelled for several years due to the unavailability of a permanent structure. With an established site and a recently constructed building now a reality, Organizers are planning to put on a show later this month. President of the Girardel Eggleston Flower Growers Group is excited about this latest development. Our flower show has found a home. No more shifting of school children and school furniture. No more building and breaking. No more rushing in one week's time to prepare and break down two days after. No matter how tired one is. The last show was held nine years ago before heavy wind and rain destroyed the temporary structure where the show was held. The Girardel Eggleston show was first held in 1973. Dominica's Chief Cultural Officer Raymond Lawrence complimented the organizers for their perseverance in keeping the show alive. Lawrence says the new building will serve to enhance the overall flower show product. This year's show will be staged for an entire week beginning May 18th until the 26th to accommodate as many patrons as possible. I'm sure your flower show building now gives you a stronger sense in the community that there is now a home for the flower show. And in that way, you feel a greater sense of satisfaction and commitment and that you can now even take the flower show even to a higher level in a way that only the people of Girardel Eggleston can do. 
The government of Dominica made a financial contribution of $80,000 towards the construction of the Flower Show building. Parliamentary representative for the Rosa South constituency, Honorable Ambrose George, announced that government will donate an additional $40,000 to the Flower Group. I have the approval of the Prime Minister and Minister of Finance to announce to you today that an additional $40,000 will be granted to the Flower Group to meet outstanding payments to the contractor for the building and to assist... and to assist in meeting expenses related to the hosting of the 2013 Flower Show. The Global Environmental Facility Small Grants Program and the Community Management of Protected Areas Compact also partnered with the Girardel Eggleston Flower Group to make this year's Flower Show a reality. The island's tourism minister is delighted that the Flower Show is being reintroduced this year. Honorable Ian Douglas views the Flower Show as bringing significant economic benefits to the community. The minister has encouraged residents of the twin communities to take ownership of the event. This building is testimony of what the community can achieve against many odds, if the people are willing to put their minds and energies to the task. I trust that the community of Jurdel, like the Flower Growers Group, will take ownership of this initiative in its entirety and forge ahead with the expansion of the flower growing program, making it a viable endeavor for income and employment generation. In more news, the Department of Local Government and Community Development continues to invest its efforts in the reformation of legislature to better aid in the development of Dominica's local authorities. Honorable Gloria Schillingford, Minister for Community Development, in an address delivered at the start of Local Government Month, stated that the department has made notable progress in this venture. We can talk about the progress that has been made seeking to reform the legislation that gives the local government system its teeth to operate in our process of national development. The local government division staff has been working with a local consultant legal draftsman to conclude the draft harmonized bylaws as well as a comprehensive local government act. This will be further advanced in the near future to ensure that local authorities have relevant and appropriate legal frameworks to function effectively within their respective communities. John Fontaine, local government commissioner, told GIS News that this restructuring of local government laws is aimed at making the operations of these municipalities more effective, efficient, and current. He further explained how this undertaking will synchronize these government systems. For example, if Suffres Codset Council has a sanitation bylaw and it does not exist in Marigot, how do we bridge the gap? So these are some of the issues that we're looking at. We're also looking at um, harmonizing some of the, the, the laws governing local government. So currently we have the, the, the Canefield Urban Council Act, the Rosa City Council Act, Portsmouth Town Council, Council Act. We are now bringing that together to call the Municipalities Act. Fontaine acknowledged the department and its councils as an important asset to the island's government. The Department of Local Government and Community Development is the government arm, um, the administrative arm, overseeing the local authorities on the island. And so you, previously you heard that we have different tiers, we have different players or, or stakeholders. Um, so the Department of Local Government and Community Development is the administrative arm. He admitted that while the local governments on the island are receiving tremendous support from their various residents, the department encourages neighborhoods to lend greater assistance in fundraising efforts. According to Fontaine, the Reform Agenda project is hoped to be successfully concluded by the end of 2013. And Minister for Tourism and Legal Affairs, Honorable Ian Douglas, wants the nation's youth to begin considering careers in the tourism industry. The minister addressing the 2013 Tourism Industry Awards on Wednesday noted that there are many job opportunities available within the industry. 
The tourism sector continues to yield significant revenue for the island, and officials hope that secondary school and college graduates will be sufficiently encouraged to play their parts to further enhance the industry. There are so many jobs in the industry, but our young people are really not taking advantage of it. So many jobs as front desk managers, as tour guides, taxi drivers, tour operators. I mean, you have a number of different opportunities in the tourism industry, and persons mustn't just see the tourism industry as probably only tour guides or only those people you see on the bayfront. We have persons who are qualified at the highest level making their contribution to the tourism industry quietly um, with no fanfare. And so our, our citizens coming up need to understand and need to know that there is a future career in tourism and they need to know how they can take advantage of that. Meantime, stakeholders within the tourism industry have been encouraged to take action to improve service delivery to visitors. That call came from Information Minister Honorable Ambrose George. Honorable George represented Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt at Wednesday's Tourism Industry Awards. The economic returns that we need to grow the economy, and I emphasize the economic returns that we need in these difficult economic times from the tourism sector, can only be realized when visitors visit and return to the island or when they encourage their friends and family to visit and we actually have hotel rooms occupied, taxis and buses being engaged, food and drinks being purchased in restaurants. In some areas, we have made some progress. However, our efforts must be sustained and must become a part of the culture of our institutions and organizations and the attitude of our personnel. Tourism service providers have more reasons to take heed to Honorable George's call as the Discover Dominica Authority embarks on a campaign to increase the number of visitors to the island to 90,000 by the year 2015. This mantra or rallying cry of 90,000 visitors by 2015 is something that you will hear from our Honorable Minister of Tourism and all the stakeholders from here on because we've got to try to help ourselves in trying to increase the number of passengers, the number of people and visitors into our lovely island, Dominica. And we wish to utilize this month when all of our citizens of the nation ought to be clued into all things, um, tourism to impress upon you, that you, tourism partners, we want to impress upon you that you must play a part in getting Dominica to this target and sustaining that visitor arrival mark once we can get there and even growing beyond that figure as increased visitor arrivals ultimately result in more economic activity uh, within the destination. The government of Dominica continues to invest heavily into the development of sporting facilities on the island. Sports Minister Honorable Justina Charles told the National Sports Awards ceremony earlier this week that over $700,000 was recently spent on improving facilities. The minister is hoping that these investments will encourage sporting enthusiasts to excel. We are very much aware of the need for improved and in some cases the establishment of new recreational space if greater performance is to be achieved. In recent times, we have embarked on several projects geared at improving and constructing new playing facilities to ensure that you, our sportsmen and women, improve your performances. Over the last two months, close to $750,000 have been spent on the improvement of seven sports facilities across the island with the intention of commencing work on, a, on an additional five facilities. It is our hope that these improvements to your sports, sporting facility will urge you to greater performances. Meantime, the government of Dominica continues to recognize West Indies off-spinner Dominican Shane Shillingford for his contribution to cricket. Shane Shillingford earlier this week was awarded Sportsman of the Year for 2012 at the National Sports Awards. Sports Minister Honorable Justina Charles during the ceremony announced that government took a decision to award Shillingford a parcel of land at Hillsborough Gardens which will be used for residential purposes. The minister in making the announcement took time to recall some of Shillingford's recent sporting accomplishments. 
following his exploit at the Windsor Park Stadium before his home crowd, and again one of the world's leading and against one of the world's leading cricket team, Mr. Shane Shillingford was honored as a goodwill ambassador and became a bearer of a diplomatic passport. Shane wasted no time to get to work towards improving his performance and ensured that when the opportunity presented itself, he was again among the top performers by being named man of the series in the recently held test series West Indies versus Zimbabwe. The government of Dominica has further decided to award Mr. Shane Shillingford with a piece of land at Hillsborough Garden for residential purpose. Efforts to recognize the achievements of local sports personalities were again recently manifested when the government of Dominica took a decision to provide two scholarships to young promising athletes, Luan Gabriel and Shani Angle. In more news, Agriculture Minister and Parliamentary Representative for the Paybush Constituency, Honorable Matthew Walter, challenged the newest agriculture and marketing cooperative on the island to claim ownership of the group in order to ensure its success. At the official registration ceremony of the Paybush, Doda and Agriculture and Marketing Cooperative on Wednesday, Honorable Walter spoke of the challenges ahead for the fledgling group. Challenges, he said, that can be overcome by taking personally the success of the cooperative. Financial cooperatives have survived and still doing well in Dominica. But we have experienced tremendous problems with non-financial cooperatives, such as the agricultural cooperatives. So it's not easy, it's hard work. But what you need to bring on board with you is ownership of your organization. Ownership, you must own it. You must tell yourself it is mine. And unless you have told yourself that, this commitment and dedication and patriotism to your own organization will be absent. And an absence of, of those values will contribute to a deterioration of your organization. Why you do not want that? You want to ensure that your organization is sustained. You want to ensure that, you know, it lasts for a very long time and it moves from generations to generations. Honorable Walter also told growers that groups like theirs should make full use of the island's resources. We can use the scarce resources that we have and translate them into wealth for our people of this country. And it's very important that we put the mechanisms in place to achieve those objectives. And one of the mechanisms that we have been promoting and advocating is the farmers group. The Agriculture Minister expressed confidence in the new cooperative, stating its potential for economic growth only if it is taken seriously. This cooperative can transform the economy of Pebush and Dodan, and you said that there are some members from, from Benz, right? It can transform the economy. You might think of this is an impossibility, but it is not impossible. If you manage it well, okay, you will have a lot of people participating in agricultural production. And I want to tell you here today, it is a myth to say that Ipani Lajia are agriculture. There is plenty of money in agriculture. But you have to understand, first of all, that agriculture is a business. It's not a vaiki vai thing. It's a business. Just as the bank is a business, the credit union is a business, okay, just as you run your small shop as a business, just as Charles Wood runs his business as a business, so that he will not fail, you have to run your business, your agriculture business as a business. 
Finally, this news time, the PTA of the Isaiah Thomas Secondary School, along with Parliamentary Representative for the St. Joseph Constituency, Honorable Kelva Daru, surprised the fifth form students with a relaxation day right before CXE exams. Kimani Seja has that report. Fifth form students of the Isaiah Thomas Secondary School experienced the change of pace on Wednesday when they were treated to an end of school year retreat by their school's administration. The school's PTA body picked up the tab for lunch for the entire graduating class at Double House Restaurant. Vice President of the PTA, Mary Toussaint, told GIS News that part of the reason was to encourage better CXC grades. It was very important to have the lunch for the students because as we know, the CXC exam time is a very stressful time for the students. And, um, with all the activities that took place during the year, I think this launch was organized to remove the extra pressure on them. It was a form where they could um, interact with each other and could say farewell to their teacher, Miss K. Roberts, who is in charge of the fifth formers. Naturally, the students were quite welcoming of this gesture by the PTA. They were excited when they reached on the scene because they knew they did not know where they were going they did not know where we were taking them to and then um when they reached on the at the place that is um double house in miro one of the places that you cannot forget on the west coast of dominica appetizing meals um the students said wow you mean all that all you do for us i mean they were just taken aback when they saw this setting the faith formers used the opportunity to say goodbye to their class teacher, opting to pin their sentiments on her clothing. They also took the time to say goodbye and good luck to their fellow classmates. Mary says that among the numerous groups and individuals who contributed to the event's success, their parliamentary representative, Honorable Kelva Daru, and Senator Bentley Roye deserve special thanks. I have to say a very special thank you to Honorable Kelva Daru. He's always ready to assist the school. We call, them, call him now. He says, okay, I will um, help you all. And I am very happy for his sponsorship for this activity. Senator Bentley Roy, I call him our daddy. Whenever we have activities and he's asked to support he gives transportation free of charge and when he's driving he even allows the children to feel so comfortable that he interacts with them and i feel that is a very good thing and i thank him very much on short notice that he could assist the effort by the pta was much appreciated by the guests after all it's not very often parents and teachers plan exam time retreats for their students. Kimani Seja reporting for GIS News. And that's the English news. Marcus and St. Louis is next with the Creole highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à ce nouvel en Creole. Non moins, c'est Marcus and St. Louis. Premièrement, Dominica et en Seaport Authority, DASPA, Quand tu travailles bien formidable, fait pour pays la plus belle pour tout risque qu'à visiter. Parole ça là, qu'à sortir au General Manager d'Aspa, Benoît Badwell. Les touristes là viennent Dominique, si vous voyez ça qu'a fait en Rosso à présent, on y a un monde qui a vendu, un vendeur qui a vendu, et on y a toutes sortes de qualités bitins qu'on a fait pour y avoir vendu un bitin pour touristes. Mais là, on regarde comme que un hot bateau et pour qu'on regarde à terre. Ou kawe comme si de son chantiton comme que ou ni en ville là. Nous vle parler ba se moun sa et parler ba tout moun pour dire comme que yo sa wanje sa. Yo sa fè ke choye ki pli bel et pli acceptable pou pou moun touris ke ka vin. Et pi si sa fè comme que lese touris la vin, nou se sa di yo comme que yo vè Dominique kon nou ka advite a market ba yo. So, tout le monde a marché comme que nous savons que nous voulons vendre un même gain en haut Dominique. Mais à présent, nous avons dit que c'est un bateau. Et c'est un bateau. Comme que nous ne pouvons pas plaire. 
Là, il faut regarder, il faut faire tout ce qu'il y a de ça. À présent, nous avons parlé avec tout le monde pour voir si l'autre saison nous a fait quelque chose de ça. En la nouvelle, Dominique Anchimé bénéficie de la ressource qui a été dépensée en Kawaï pour le développement du gouvernement local. Par Wall Street, sorti de l'officier Kalga en Dominique, Yolan John Jules. Nous voyons l'expression de l'Inchus, nous faisons des lives avec moi-même. Mon travail est un bon jour là, ça, hein? Et vers deux jours. En deux jours, nous avons accueilli mon couvert. Tout le monde a regardé pour la signature de Diffon Council. Vous voyez monter. Quand vous voyez monter ça, vous voyez, vous voyez on l'a pas dans le casino. Vous avez accepté de proposer à nous. Et vers, vous avez une assistance. Vous voyez, il y a un homme de saint Dominique, mon cher Javi, pour parler de nous. Et bien pour voir ça nous nous a gardé compte. Quand ça est venu Dominique nous parler, et bien les vies nous tapé, on a on, on approuvé ben nous 27 850 euros. Finalement, messieurs, mesdames, directeurs, vous comptez Monsieur Ricky Brumand, qui a bien supporté le mouvement coopératif uh, Pebus de Dan, qui a tapé papier aux situations à yo plus bonne à ce moment là. Mouvement ça là, vous y voyez papier aux situations à yo pendant une cérémonie en Pébouche, Simen Salam. Ça nous a fait s'encourager tout le um, monde planter Dominique Vini ensemble. Um, ça, ça nous ça, ça fait ben nous, c'est aider nous faire travail plus aisé. Nous, ça, ça fait nous um, um, séparer, um, 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 biter au cas servir à ces plantations plus aisé, faire travail, uh, pas un um, travail agricole, mais yo même planter, yo ça. Um, 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 Encourager yon et l'autre, yon sa bay yon et l'autre si pour assis à ces plantations pour planter, pour fouiller, pour récolter ces bays ça. So, so, ça qui fait après midi son exemple, um, um, comme que le uh, ministère, le uh, ministère um, coopératif et agricole, quand tu avais ensemble pour faire cette sa fête. Mais où est-ce que vous avez ces habitants là pour um, un commitment? Oui, oui, ça est important. Ou pas ça, mettez là, mais aussi ça, on va créer um, um, Wilbaro Level AJ. Ça n'a pas fait sens. On um, est pour Tchébé, on est pour travailler ensemble, on est pour travailler, on est pour faire santé, ou, ou encourager les voisins et d'autres plantes pour venir ensemble aussi. Puis c'est important pour tchèn les um, ensemble. Mais c'est mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nous faire un créole pour à présent. Non, moi, c'est Marc Fossil Saint-Louis. Qu'est-ce tout le monde? Bon week-end. Au revoir. Let's now join Paul Fontaine for a recap of the week's headline stories. Hello and thank you for joining us for this week's flashback. This week, the government of Dominica honored its promise by presenting Shani Angol, Dominican athlete, with a letter of commitment which indicated that government will fund her studies all the way to university level. The government made a similar presentation to fifth form student of the Isaiah Thomas Secondary School, Luan Gabriel, another Dominican athlete who has made Dominica proud. The government of Dominica this week took the decision to rename a sporting complex in La Plaine to honor national coach Kurt Hector and footballer Noran John Hope, who died in a tragic accident at Pocasse on April 19. The facility, which went by the name RMG Sports Complex, will now be known as the Kurt Hector and Noran John Hope Sports Complex. And 19 Seventh-day Adventist educators were recognized for their distinctive service in education. The Junior Achievers Dominica Group officially launched Junior Achievement Dominica, an affiliate of Junior Achievement Worldwide. The aim of Junior Achievement Dominica is to make school-aged youth ready for entrepreneurship by exposing them to the necessary skills and information. GIS News reported this week that work was nearing completion on the temporary bypass in the Pocasse area. May 2013 was declared Local Government Month and the Orion Academy celebrated 10 years as a premier education institution. The Division of Agriculture assisted the Essential Oils Cooperative in its diversification efforts and sports personalities were recognized for their contribution to sports in 2012 at the annual Sports Awards. Of the several men and women recognized, Shane Schillingford and Luan Gabriel walked away Sportsman and Sportswoman of the Year. And Dominica welcomed a new agriculture and marketing cooperative. The Paybush Dodan Agricultural and Marketing Cooperative officially became the 42nd registered cooperative on the island. These were the headline stories for this week. 
Back to you, Jana. Coming up next, why you should stay safe in the sun. Documentaries and in-depth discussions, community walkthroughs, and yes, we care. See it all on GIS Channel Set. Channel Set. Channel Set. Channel Set. Channel Set. The sun is an important part of our lives. Sunny days have a positive impact on our moods, increase our level of physical activity, and benefit our health by providing our bodies with essential vitamin D. Unfortunately, sun exposure also presents risk factors that can lead to skin or eye damage, and even skin cancer, which is why we should take every precaution to avoid overexposure in the sun. And that's all for National Focus today. We welcome your suggestions and comments. Please feel free to drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Friend us on Facebook and be sure to like our GIS Dominica fan page. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire news production team, I'm Jana Hector. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. You can see the wonder.